want to encourage you to turn in your Bibles with me to Luke chapter 4. Today we're going to be reading verses 1 through 13. Today, obviously, we continue on in the Word of God, in the Gospel according to Luke. Before I read, there is a, uh, a word that uh, I struggled with as an early Christian that's in your text. Uh, it's a simple word. It is uh, wilderness. Um, now, when I hear wilderness, I think of wilderness the way it is here, you know, dense foliage and trees and, and the stuff that you used to go, if you were like me, uh, slashing through with your pocket knife as a kid pretending you were a jungle explorer or something like that. That is not wilderness, though, the way uh, that it occurs in Israel. It's interesting, when you go to Israel, you don't have to go far from any major uh, water source uh, in terms of kilometers before you get to a, a vast area of sand and rock and just barrenness. Uh, there's a lot of that kind of wilderness. The word Eremos here refers to the desert. So Jesus was in a blighted area where there was uh, neither water nor food. That's the word. Well, let's uh, go before the Lord, though, and ask for his help before we read. Heavenly Father, I do ask that you would be with us here today that you would be the light of our minds and that you, O oh Lord, would illuminate us inwardly so that we would understand your word. If we do not have your power within us, how can we hope to understand it or apply it, Lord? We need your Holy Spirit and help us, O oh Lord, to have open ears. We know the devil loves to tempt us at this moment to think on things that while they are not sinful normally, Lord, they are sinful when we are paying attention to them instead of to you and to what you have to tell us. Remind us of that. I ask for your help, O oh Lord, to stay on the right path myself and to teach your people nothing that is not in keeping with your word. Lord, I am a man with feet of clay, uh, and I am a dying man speaking to dying men. But I